School. And welcome back to Finn. Finn. Let's start with some student life. Halloween's coming up, Saxons. What are you dressing up as, Brooke? Same thing I have been every year since I was born. Lady Gaga. You've been dressing up as Lady Gaga every year since you were born? Yep. What are you going as? Same thing I've been going since my first Halloween. A black cat. How classic. Let's see what Saxons are wearing this Halloween. Cut! I wonder, I wonder who is the best. best. I'm sure I saw it. It had glowing eyes and it was transparent. You have to come with me to see it. It was right here. I swear, it was right here. What is it? It's like a floating head. It's right there! It's right there! What do you mean? I'm just a ghost. We used to be best friends when we, you were younger. Story idea. Today, we're going to reminisce on old times and look back at our old baby <laughs> Halloween <laughs> costumes. Take it away. and some yearbook students with, him, with some yearbook reminders. We yearbook kids need your help. Please send us pictures of summer fun, community service, you with your car, you with your pet, or you at your job, or a picture of you and your sibling, uh, a picture of you and your best friend, or a picture of you doing an outside activity. And don't forget seniors, you've got to have your senior portraits in by November 1st. You can email me at timdc at spokaneschools.org with any of these pictures or your senior portrait. And if you're late with your senior portrait, you probably should email me so we can reserve you a space. Let's move on to club news. We're building, we're really building our community here at Ferris. The FCCLA club has been busy making a difference. It is truly inspiring to see students taking the initiative. We interviewed some of the FCCLA officers and advisor to ask about some of their accomplishments. Here at Ferris and in all schools, uh, you have to have an FCCLA club uh, if you have family consumer science classes, which is what we teach. So we have FCCLA. I didn't know anything about it when I started and I ended up falling in love. That was five years ago and now I do it every year. Um, I joined FCCLA just because I was taking child development and that's like one of my favorite classes that I have. And also just like, I love the teachers and the environment and the other people in it. It's just like a really fun place to be. I joined FCCLA just because like, um, Miss Jackson and I took uh, foods and child development and they were just persuading everybody to join. And I was like, okay. And I'm, yeah, I kind of just, from there, I joined the club and it was really fun. My favorite thing about FCCLA is just like the memories that we get to make as a chapter. I've made so many new friends in FCCLA and it also gives like everyone an opportunity to like better our community and community service is something I love and the ability to do that that's linked to like a school like club that I can get like um, credit for is like awesome. I don't say there's a favorite. I love all my kids project but Definitely having all these community service ones is super awesome. My proudest accomplishment of FCCLA was last year at like the National Leadership Conference. I made it into the top 10 for my project category, so I had to like go on stage at Nationals. So that was really exciting just to work for something and then get it, so. I think my accomplishment was um, that we just like pulled together a team and it was really, really fun because I got to work with like all my friends and we just bonded like a lot with the FCCLA and it just was a really fun club. Two years ago we had a student place first in the nation for public speaking um, in her project in FCCLA. Last year I made it to nationals with my project and I helped a refugee family get to the United States and our chapter helped out with that and it was just a really fun experience and our chapter also won most spirited chapter last year at state. Another club event reminder. Unified Club is having an event tomorrow after school in the Commons. Here's Mrs. Jacobson to tell us a little more. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Jacobson and Unified Club wants you to come to our first after school activity. It'll be Tuesday, October 29th, right after school in the Commons from 2.30 to 4. We have games, crafts, painting pumpkins, and just having fun with all of our friends in Unified Club. Please come. 
This Jersey is a Desperados Haunted Halloween show. Do you know what time it is at? No, but these guys do. Come to the Desperado show this Thursday on Halloween at 6 p.m. There's going to be a haunted hallway then, and it's $10 at the door or just $7 at 7 p.m. for the show. Please come, there's going to be a costume contest and a prize. Come to the Desperado show. Now, onto this week's club meetings. Here are the club meetings that will be meeting Monday. The following clubs will be meeting on Tuesday. Then Wednesday club meetings. The club meetings on Thursday. On a sports news. On Tuesday, volleyball has a game at home against Ridgeline at 7 o'clock. Let's wish them good luck. Hey Texans, this Friday is the last football game of the year at World Stadium against Wishline at 5. Be sure to be there and support them. And look for upcoming news about winter sports tryouts. Now on to general news. Today we have a very serious topic for general news, so please make sure to pay very close attention. Breaking news, Saxons. As we look outside, we can see the leaves turning to beautiful colors, which can only mean one thing, the return of pumpkin spice. This pumpkin spice epidemic has spread far and wide, from coffee shops to pumpkin spice trash bags. Many people have fallen under the influence of pumpkin spice. And today, we will do a deep dive on how many Saxons have been able to stay safe. Um, I love pumpkin spice. It's my favorite time of the year to drink it, so. Pumpkin spice, blah, ah, blah. I really like pumpkin spice lattes. I think they're really good and they're not overrated. You know, pumpkin spice is just like a very classic fall time flavor. And I would say it's very basic, very white girl, very demure, but uh, I did have a pumpkin spice coffee this morning, so I can't really say much. Latte wise, I don't like coffee. The flavor itself is good though. In things like cake and muffins though, they are amazing in my opinion. So what I think about pumpkin spice latte is that it's really good in my opinion. I've had it once, it's really good, but I'm pretty sure that's a really good drink. Okay, um, I've actually never had pumpkin spice. Uh, I smell the candles. Like from far away, they smell really good, but like if you get too close, it like kind of hurts your brain. But yeah, that's my opinion. Like, it's okay. What's our opinion on pumpkin spice? Disgusting! Thank you, Brooke, for that important report on pumpkin spice. Now we're going to head over to the ASL class and learn more of the fight song. Thank you, ASL, and everyone who participated in practicing. Have a great week, everyone. And go Saxons. Saxons.